Ted Gamadella continuing my series on 10 things I learned from Horace Gracie. The first thing I learned from Horace Gracie was he had controlled the class with grace and ease, or as I called it, grace ease. The second thing I learned is that you have to be ready to fight anyone, anywhere, anytime. And that's a big deal. Master Gracie was showing a technique to a student who asked to see how he could escape from the mount. During the demonstration of the technique, the student struggled very hard with Master Gracie, who did the escapes anyway. But after he had done so, he politely asked the student if he wanted to learn the technique or if he wanted to have a fight. And he was very serious. He repeated it again and made it very clear. If he wanted to fight, he was ready, willing, and able to fight him. He also told a story to illustrate his point about how when he was training with another black belt, the other black belt told him he was going to stop teaching techniques because he wasn't sure if they worked. So he was going to go into the street and try the techniques and see if they did work. You know, I remember Demetrius Vanis, the Golden Greek, telling me the same thing. When he was training with Alistair back in the 1960s and 70s, he and a few of his other students would learn a technique and then they would go into the actual streets that night and test them out at the local Burger King and see if they would actually work in a fight. If they did, they continued to practice the techniques. If they didn't, they didn't practice them anymore. <laughs> now the point is, Master Gracie was teaching and the point that was probably escaped most of the people in attendance is that you have to be prepared to prove it anytime. You don't get mugged and then go set up a date 90 days from now to fight. You don't get into an argument in a bar and then set up a outside date to fight down the road 110 days from now after you get your training in. You have to be ready to fight anywhere, anytime, and under any circumstances. You have to be in shape to fight. If winning the fight requires that you, try for, for, that you train for 90 days, then the system you are learning is bad. It won't work in the real world because you don't get to set up fights 90 days out in advance in the real world. You get into fights and you either win or lose them with what you have and what you bring to the fight during the actual fight. Techniques you use to know but have forgotten, techniques you can't do correctly, techniques that don't work, techniques that won't win any fights, you've got to forget those. You have to be practicing and learning techniques that will work in a real fight and that might actually happen when you walk out of the dojo. If you're practicing martial arts to learn to fight, then you better be prepared to fight anywhere, anytime, against anyone of any size. Well, Google the word Gracie fights and you'll see dozens of instances where challengers from other schools, styles, or systems just walked into the Gracie Jiu Jitsu school and challenged the Gracie to a fight. There was no time for preparation, no time for the Gracie to go out and train with their coaches or get worked up or something, no time to get into shape. There was a challenger and then there was a fight. And the Gracies always won. Why? Because the style they practiced taught them how to win a street fight against bigger, stronger, faster, meaner opponents without having to prepare for that fight weeks or months in advance. If you're taking a martial arts, and one of the reasons you are taking a martial arts is to learn to defend yourself, then you have to actually try using the techniques you are learning in a fight. That doesn't mean you have to go outside and fight. You can do this in class. You don't have to go into the streets, and I certainly don't recommend that you get into street fights. And we throw our students out to get into unprovoked street fights. But I certainly do recommend you practice your style in such a way that you will actually know if what you are doing and learning works in the street. So the second thing I learned from Royce Gracie was always to be ready, willing, and able to fight anywhere, anyone, anytime, and prove that your system of training and what you're doing actually works. And that's a great lesson to learn, and that's another thing I learned from Royce Gracie. I'll tell you more in the next video. Thank you.